This is Byron Gordon for the SES Conference Channel. It is day three, live at SES New York. We just finished hearing from the second keynote speaker of the conference, John Gerzema, author of The Brand Bubble. John, how are you? Byron, I'm great. Glad to be with us. Uh, John, let's first talk about a little bit, uh, you started off your talk about the decay of brands. Set up the situation for us today in this recession. What's happening with brands overall? Sure. Well, basically, Byron, I wrote this book, The Brand Bubble, Looming Crisis and Brand Value, and we studied through Brand Asset Valuator the decay of brands, and we found that you know trust in brands had declined almost 50% product quality in brands had declined almost 24%. So consumers are basically kind of walking away from many of the brands and they're focusing more of their passion and energy on brands that are truly creative, truly emotional, and brands that really get them. Uh, you went on to talk about the new consumerism in response to the challenging times we're in now. Can you talk about that? Yeah, well, I think it's an apt metaphor that we have Billy Joel, my life, playing behind <laughs> us. But it is all about the consumer, and I think power has shifted from the institution and the brand to the consumer. And what we're seeing in a lot of the, the stuff that I presented this morning was this focus on new cultural values, new mindsets that are being brought about by the recession. And what we've seen is that consumers' behaviors have fundamentally changed. They're focusing more on things like déclassé consumption, uh, more focusing on looking for product quality in some instances for brands that last, that are going to be there for them in the future. And also, critically important, looking for brands that are going to offer not only value, but values. So marketers need to understand these sort of shifting behaviors and connect with them. Can you give us, you, you talked about a few examples of a few brands that are doing well. Can you talk about one of them? Just give us an example. Yeah, I mean, I think the most important thing is that many of these marketing ideas are are summer tactics, some are really interesting distribution and pricing strategies. So I talked a little bit about Frito-Lay and the fact that they understood that consumers have more money, their consumer, at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month. And so what they've done is changed their packaging. So they have big packs that they sell at the beginning of the month and smaller packs on promotion at the end of the month. Just one example, but many, many brands are connecting. Microsoft is educating, uh, volunteering to educate two million people through their IT training, allowing them to refo refocus and you know help people sort of retrain. FedEx is doing some really great things in terms of free resume day for people to job search. So a lot of these brands and many more are connecting emotionally and understanding that they've got to be there to offer you know help to the consumer in this troubled time. So any final tips or strategies for marketers to reconnect with their audience and redevelop that brand in these challenging times? Yeah, it's really you know what I write about on on the brand bubble, and I've got the whole presentation for download on thebrandbubble.com/blog with all the links. But basically, what we're seeing is get real with the consumer, understand you've got to be completely transparent and honest, and you've got to provide you know, true customer service, true ways to connect beyond sort of the platitudes of marketing. Thanks so much for talking to us, John. Thanks a lot, Byron. More to come from SES New York Live Day 3. Stay tuned.